How's it going everyone? I know it's been a long time, but I want to explain kind of what's going on in my life and why I haven't uploaded. I know I've done this briefly in the past before, but this time is actually pretty important that I kind of explain like, you know, what I've been doing. And I mean, of course, it's not like super important to anybody else, but to me it is because it's kind of been a big change in direction in my life and I don't know I kind of want to share my experiences and everything and I'm not just going to talk about my life but I'm going to talk about some other things like Call of Duty Cold War why I will not be playing that game so <laughs> I, I think it's terrible but yeah I'll kind of get into that stuff but anyway to anybody that watches this out of my subscribers I you know I'm sorry for not uploading I've played the game uh, I've been playing Modern Warfare like here and there I play it nowhere near as much I keep getting nukes I got a lot it's no different um, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys you know why I haven't been around and in the background you're seeing my longest gun streak I've ever gotten I'm leaving this unedited because I got a lot to talk about uh, I mean guys this this streak's pretty crazy I won't tell you how far I, I got but let's just say it was a pretty high kill um, streak <laughs> so anyway let's jump right in so my life changes started to happen around two months ago I was living with my girlfriend at her place and we decided that we need to get it get our own place just me and her and so with this you know we found a place in my hometown in the in the downtown area which is absolutely awesome absolutely love it you know everything is great but finding it was stressful and it was stressful because I was working a job that I did not enjoy uh, I was in the fitness industry I if you know me personally, you know that working out has been my passion. I've always been extremely athletic, and you know, it's been something that I've done. You know, I used to play baseball in college, just things like that. Like, And nowadays, I'm just, you know, realizing that if you take your hobby, and I think this is very important, so if, you, if you're younger and listening to this, just, like, remember this. So if you take your hobby and think that you want to make it your full-time job, I do not think it is a good idea. So when I was working at this gym, I was doing sales and kind of like doing the cleaning and stuff, and I absolutely hated it. I hated walking into this place every single morning. At first, I thought, it, like, I literally thought it was going to be great. I was like, oh, this is perfect for me. I'm going to be in the fitness industry, blah, blah, blah. Well, come to find out, it's literal garbage. Uh, like, you spend so much time cleaning, especially because of COVID. Like, it's awful. So... I was getting really fed up with that. I felt like I wasn't doing anything related to what I was supposed to be doing. And, you know, I think this, all, like, I have a little side business that I do. I paint shoes. I used to, at least. I used to do this a lot, especially during college. And it was pretty fun. It was really enjoyable. But, you know, once you start selling things that you do for fun, it's not fun anymore. Because then you're stressed about money. You're stressed about, you know doing what other people want, trying to adapt to what other people want. So I found myself doing, like, with the, sh with the shoes I used to do, which I still do every now and then, uh, I was making things that I didn't like. And, you know, not nothing against what the people wanted, but, it, you know, if it was me, I would have done something different. But because it was the customers, you know, I would, like, I did it what they wanted and things like that. So I had to support that. But, uh, yeah, so I, I, back to the working in the fitness industry. So me and my girlfriend, we just decided that, you know, it was best if I didn't do this job, and, you know, I went to school for marketing. I got a four-year degree in marketing. At this job I was doing, it was not something that you needed a four-year degree for. I, like, I cannot believe I even did it. It was so stupid. But I was spending so much time, like, in gas and stuff, or whatever. What I don't want to rant about that or it makes me mad. Just think of it. But I want to put my degree to work, right? Like, I try this big salary job, whatever. So guys, I've been applying to so many jobs recently, it's been absolutely incredible. I applied to probably within the past three months, or two two months really, it was because about two months ago, two, three months ago, I quit that job. I've probably applied to over a hundred. And let me tell you, if you're still in college, just know that you need to try to get your job before you graduate. Do not wait till you graduate because that is not going to work unless you're going to work in like a family company or you have connections or something like that. If you don't have all the connections, all the family things, try your hardest to get it in your last semester or even your first semester of your last year. 
And the reason I recommend this is because you do not want to have the stress post-grad. And a lot of times you want to get the hell out of your parents' house. Like, I had to, like, I moved back home just for a little bit while we were waiting for our lease to start. And let me tell you, it's not fun, you know? Especially if you're, like, 22 years old, you've been on your own. Uh, me, I'm 23. Like, if you were 22 years old, you know, you graduated, you probably don't really want to go back home. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're, like, at this point in your life, you you should be pretty independent, you know, but college for that because a lot of times they don't help you get a job. And knowing this now, you know, just take my advice and start looking for a job ASAP because you do not want to have to go back home because when you go back home, it's, you know, tensions with your family rises, they're always on your back, you know, and of course that's just what family does. Uh, it, it's, it sucks that it's like that, but just do your best to get a job ASAP. Now, in these hundred jobs that I applied for, I went through so many interviews that I, the Zoom interview process is extremely annoying. I really, I, I, I it's different, um, you know, because you don't get to express yourself as much. You don't get to kind of show who you are. People don't get to see you face to face. And seeing someone face to face is much better than seeing them on a, I guess you could say, like, face cam or whatever because I don't think it's a good representation of who you are it's better than over the phone but still and here's another thing so if you apply to a job and you get an interview that does not mean you are going to get the job okay I thought this with a couple jobs and I didn't go in as prepared as I should have which is okay you know I learned from these and then I ended up you know I'll get to where I am now but in a little bit so yeah like <laughs> when you do this prepare you know prepare for your interview look up the company things like that and I wish I had done it on the first ones however everything happens for a reason right after I learned that you really need to practice and things like this for your interviews I got much better at it I also got really good at writing very quick cover letters and things like that which of course they don't really teach you in school it's so stupid that they don't you know, you pay all this money and just for college to not teach you how to really write a resume, you know, you have to go to like student success or something and then even then it's like prying teeth, like they don't want to help you. And then you end up going to, you know, the internet to try to figure it out and a lot of times it's just people are different and you never know what people want. And then of course you have a cover letter that you have to write and it always says it's optional. And in all seriousness, I don't know if the cover letter even helps. I genuinely don't. And the reason why it's so hard to get a job, guys, is because everyone's in college now. I, of course, I'm not saying literally everyone. That's, that's an exaggeration. But there is a lot of people in college, and if you think that you are so special in your field, guess what? There's other people that are smarter than you, that are better at things than you are, and it's really hard. So what you need to do is get yourself in front of somebody face-to-face. -face. This is the big thing. This is, like, the biggest challenge, and, you know, I got to say like it, it is truly a challenge like getting yourself in front of someone is so time consuming it's crazy but it will happen if you just be patient and do your best like with every interview i worked with a recruiting agency i got contacted by them and they saved me so much because i went through so many interviews with other places and it was just dead ends and the good thing about working with a recruiting agency is they get you in contact directly with the owners or depending on how big the company is they get you directly in contact with the owners or like HR people I work for a smaller company now I got an amazing job I'm literally so excited I, I cannot even begin to explain it's uh, my position is something that most people would have to work for to, for years literally years and years but because I'm working with a smaller company, I just got blessed with an amazing opportunity. Um, I'm not going to say the name of the company or anything on the internet. Like that's just I'm just not going to do that. But it's a great job. I'm so excited. Um, I've been working here for a little bit now. But yeah, so I got. Let me let me backtrack for a second. So me and my girlfriend moved into my apartment, and uh, we both live together. This is, I say my apartment. It's our apartment. We're both paying for it. I didn't have a job when we moved in, so I was freaking out, and something pretty awesome happened, you know, I had been going through these interviews for a while, 
and I was really stressed out. I was like, man, if I don't get this job, I'm literally going to have to start working at Amazon or something just trying to make ends meet until I can find like a professional job. Well, the day I moved in, I moved in, or me and my girlfriend decided to move in early because we wanted to get out of my house as fast as possible. So I'm sitting here, I uh, moved some stuff up, and I just sat in the car for a minute, you know, I sat in my car and just reflected. I was like, man, I need, like, I need this job. I, I, I need something to go good in my life because it's been so stressful here recently. And next thing you know, I am sitting here in the car in my apartment. I start moving my stuff in and I get a call from this company. And they say, we'd like to offer you the job. And I have never felt so weird in my life, so nervous because I got the call, I saw the, the area code, everything. And I knew that it was them. I didn't know if they were gonna say, we're not gonna give you the job because I got rejected from so many. It was actually insane how many jobs I got rejected from. But, uh, yeah, so I get the call, and they say they want to offer me the job, and the fact that I was sitting there thinking about it and talking to myself, you know, I was really talking to myself just because I've been so beat up about it, and my goodness, guys, I it was just a crazy experience, um, so I am so grateful for the opportunity that I have been given, um, It's it's been really fortunate, uh, and I've spent a lot of time away from video games uh, you know I, I is like I gotta get my shit together you know I, I gotta get my real life stuff going I can't you know I love video games and stuff I'd love to make it my job one day if I ever had a big enough following but then again that would mean I'd have to you know do this basically full time and build a bigger following or have a bigger following which I don't you know I don't have I mean I have a great community of everyone who watches my stuff but it's not you know, it's not something that could sustain me. I'm not monetized. I don't stream. I don't have a setup to stream that costs money. So, I mean, I guess what I'm going to do is keep playing Modern Warfare for a little while and just keep stomping people because the lobbies are nowhere near as annoying. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'll kind of move on to something else. Uh, I And let me say, guys, I really hope that what I just told you is kind of helpful. Because life is, you know, like life after school, no matter if you're in high school or college, is a lot different than when you're in school. Because when you're in school, you think everything's going to be so easy once you graduate, and it's not. Just remember that. Just remember, like, you're going to school for, like, a reason, and that reason is to get an education to help you get a job. But getting that job is a full-time job. Like, when I, when you, when you think if you don't have a job, applying to jobs and everything, that is a job. That is a job in itself. You have to grind. You have to work your absolute hardest in order to get a job because everybody else that is graduated is doing the same thing. Like, if you think you are the only one doing it, trust me, you are not. You know, and like I said before, you're not that special. Like, you're not, and I don't mean to sound blunt or anything, but you're not that special because other people are extremely smart too. And they're doing the exact same thing as you. So figure out a way to set yourself above and beyond. Like figure out a way to differentiate yourself. Start a little business on the side if you can. But that's gonna be you know enough of my little TED talk and stuff like that. So here I'll give you guys my opinion on Cold War. And by the way, this is like I picked up the AS Val right here. What the fuck is that? I don't understand how I died so fast because whenever I get killed by that thing, dude, I literally look like the kid looks at me and I'm just dead. But anyway, I'm not going to play Cold War. That game is absolutely terrible, and I know everybody has the right to their own opinion. I thought Modern Warfare was a pretty stupid game, but the fact that Cold War doesn't have a real ground war, the fact that you can get a nuke and you'd literally get a medal, like, what? What is what is the point? It's so... I don't know. It's so bad. I, I can't play it. I'm not going to justify spending $70 on a game that has 8 maps. <laughs> like, that's a joke, but... Guys, I want you just to know, I will upload, I'll upload when I can. I will not play Cold War unless Warzone in it is good or something, because that'll be the only way I'm getting that game is if it's free. I just do not want to play it. Uh, actually, I don't want to say that'll be the only way. I might end up getting it if my friends can convince me enough. But we'll see. And the, really the only reason I would even get it is to level up the guns, so that way I can 
use them in Warzone or something, but honestly, Modern Warfare Warzone is probably going to be better because Cold War is clunky. Feels like a game that came out in 2014. I don't know. That's my little input on that. But anyway, guys, you stuck around this long. Thank you so much for watching, and you know, I'll keep you updated on my life. And let me know if you like this kind of content. I have no idea if you do or not. I have no idea if anybody's going to even still watch my videos. But thank you and peace and love, as Nick Merckx would say. <laughs> See you guys.